Sure enough, it installs. Pretty straightforward. We're going to follow the same steps for all the other ones. So this pretty much goes in there like so. Except now we're going to use the two big round ones. take note of is that one of these is actually a hex. That's interesting. I'm only going to be taking the round ones though. Since uh, the round ones aren't going to be actually, since these wheels here aren't actually moving with anything except for the back, it kind of uh, makes sense for me to make sure they're all round. or hex in the back so I should just kind of sure enough they fit in and then we're just going to wrap these tank treads around Does look like they're gonna fit, except that we're gonna have to give them a good stretch to make them fit perfectly. So what we're gonna do is now we put all these wheels on. We're gonna go ahead and connect these. Just like we did before. Okay, so that's one. two. So, here we have that. It definitely looks like it's going to be a very snug fit. doing here is I'm just kind of spinning the wheel and then just kind of there you 
have it. follow the same process there. kind of inspecting everything and there you have it the tank is built here we have the DF robot uh, robot shop rover with an Arduino compatible board and it is constructed now the next steps you'll see us put some things on here put the batteries in put the motors in do the final touch-ups on the unit and we're good to go um, what do we think so far about the kit so far the kit's been pretty straightforward there are some tricky parts of putting it together. Um, some things were left to interpretation so far, um, but not. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Um, definitely something that you're going to learn a kit. You know, learn how to build things with. Um, the nice thing is that they're using these Tamiya components, which are often used in hobby, hobby kits and whatnot. So if you're familiar with those, these should be pretty simple and straightforward for you to use and build. Again, this is going to be driven by four AA batteries, and we have some experiments that we're going to be conducting with this. And that concludes the building so far of this this uh, this robot kit. Take care, and look forward to the uh, next videos. We're actually going to be using it, testing it out, and seeing what we can do with it.